Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, some economists fear unfunded public employee pensions are like a ticking time bomb waiting to undermine budgets throughout the state. Now with us now with a closer look at a possible solution, a governor's plan to public pension reform is Chris Norby. He's an assemblyman in the 72nd district. Thank you very much for being here. Always happy to be here, Leslie. Well, tell us about how you see the state of unfunded public pensions right now. Well, you've got a demographic bulge, not just in California, not just the United States, but all across the, the industrialized world. People are living longer. Uh, there are fewer workers entering the workforce. And so you're going to have this huge bulge, not just in the United States, but in Japan and Western Europe, of retired people with medical needs and fewer workers to support them. Uh, we have to address this specifically with government workers because during the dot-com boom years, uh, during the latter part of the last century, the stock market was doing so well that these retirement funds were flushed and a lot of very, very generous deals, 3% at 50 for public employees here in Orange County, 2.7 at 55 and, and others similarly throughout the state, uh, deals were made which are just no longer sustainable. And so the governor now has put on the table a 12-point plan which we're going to be tackling shortly after we convene in January in Sacramento to go over his plan for addressing this. The plan isn't perfect. There are a lot of things here that I think need to go farther, but at least it's a start and it's going to begin the conversation. What happens if nothing happens? If nothing happens, the system is going to go bankrupt. And not only are existing retirees not going to get the pensions that they feel they're entitled to, but existing workers are not going to get the promises that they're made as well. So even though the public employee unions and public employee retirees and existing workers are going to struggle and fight for these benefits politically. At the same time, if the whole system is not modified, it's going to go down and all the recipients are going to go down with it. Unlike the federal government, the state cannot simply print money. We cannot go into debt indefinitely. Okay, let's look at some of these uh, 12 points. Uh, raising the retirement age to 67 pretty dramatic. It's been 65. Social Security set that back in the 1930s. But the fact is people are living longer, they're living healthier lives, and a worker going on till 67 or 70 is not unreasonable. Yeah. Uh, the, the catch with that point, and a lot of these apply only to new hires. They don't necessarily apply to existing workers. And so a lot of these savings aren't going to kick in until after the newly hired employees are then retiring. Uh, no pension spiking. Mm -hmm. That the, the last the pension that you get has to be based on an average of your last three base salary years. You can't, can't just kick it up in the last part. Put of in your a lot of vacation life. and a lot of other sweeteners and bonuses in there to sweeten mm -hmm. that final year. Mm -hmm. That's fairly significant. Uh, a hybrid plan that mm -hmm. at least a third of the benefit will be some kind of a 401k, not a defined benefit, but something that Where you can manage yourself. Where the employee makes some sort the of employee contribution. employee makes the contribution. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the employee decides what plan they want based on an actual stock market portfolio. Mm -hmm. Also, more uh, the, the employees would be required to pay at least half of their contribution to this. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of employees out there now that are paying none of their contributions. It's all being paid by the cities, the counties, and or the they're state. guaranteed. Uh, they're return. guaranteeing. They're guaranteed a defined benefit, right? Mm -hmm. and no matter how poorly the stock market performs they're going to get that money. Which is something other people don't enjoy lives. in their 401k plan don't, or any other investment. They don't investment. at all. These public employee defined benefits guarantee you a certain benefit regardless of how well the stock market's performing. Uh, the unknown here is will these apply to current employees or only uh, new hires? Because if you're talking about new hires, it's going to take a long, long time for any of these savings to kick in. So we have just 10 seconds heading uh, to Sacramento in January to talk about this stuff. Yes, excited. Yeah. At least the governor's put it on the table. He's not of my party, but he knows the conversation has to start somewhere. Okay, come back. We'll see how it's going. Thanks for Good. being here, Chris. Thank you, Leslie. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLN right after this.